And we are starting a new way of reporting the news here at CBS4. We all know that Colorado is a great place to live and to work. So we asked ourselves, what can we do to highlight just how great of a place this is? So we sent reporters across the state. We asked 100 people, what do they want to see in a newscast? I traveled west of the city to Red Rocks and the foothills. This is what you told me. It's very dark. It's kind of slightly, slightly negative at times, you know. In all my years reporting, I can't tell you how many times I've heard this. The one thing I don't like about the news is it shows a lot of negative, a lot of negative stuff. It's very negative. They don't ever talk about anything positive. Very sensationalized, um, very biased and skewed. As we worked our way up the foothills, Coloradans kept saying the news is too biased, too negative, and if we're not covering crime, we're just playing cheesy. Less cheese, less makeup, <laughs> less like. Back to you, Ted. From Clement Park to Morrison, Red Rocks to Golden, people simply said they're tired of the news scaring them. They report all the bad stuff, and I feel like they keep people scared. There's a lot of fear involved in watching the news. We used to watch the news all the time before we had kids, and now that we have kids, we don't even turn it on. It doesn't get much more Colorado than Red Rocks. People from all walks of life come to check this place out. So this is the perfect place to see what people think about the news, what they like, what they don't like, and what we could be doing better. There's good stuff that happens, too, every day. It just people don't talk about it. We caught up with Caleb Reimer and Chris Stewart at Red Rocks. Even as visitors, they know Colorado is full of good stories. I think it's important to report on things that are going to be beneficial to us, in a sense, you know, kind of move society forward a little bit. Some of it I like to know about. If you ask Lady Rose Vitek, she already gets the world headlines on her phone. She wants local news. Or maybe some like cool hiking trails that people don't know about, different parts of Colorado and you know outside of Denver that people don't know about. Oh, I like human interest. And for natives like Georgia Livingood, she just wants to be reminded how great her state is. And it'd be nice to have a little more fun happy times and stuff. Something that somebody's doing for the community, something that is going on that day, maybe some type of positive event. Something new, something for us to want to watch. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so we heard you loud and clear from Fort Collins to Salida, every place in between. You told us more positive, more empowering. Tell stories about the real people of Colorado coming together to make things better. So starting today, we are going to do just that, celebrating what unites us all. We are calling it Together for Colorado. And every day, you can count on us to bring you stories of people coming together for Colorado. And we would love to keep this conversation going with you. So let us know what is bringing people together for Colorado in your neighborhood. We need your help. So send us a message on our website, cbsdenver.com, or email us at togetherforcolorado.com at CBS.com.